Before I begin talking about the main chain and the hypernode statistics, let me remind you that you can go to the website hypernodes.bismuth.live website up here and then you click on the Bismuth, first you click on block and then on Bismuth Team Progress Report, May 2021. And there you have all the information about this progress report. I urge you to read this blog post. I would like to welcome you to the Bismuth Progress Report for May 2021. Let's get started. The progress report agenda is separated into multiple categories, which when combined, hopefully will form a bigger picture. Let's take a look at the different categories, starting with statistics. We will uh, check out the proof of work main chain statistics, uh, look at the data and also look at the proof of stake hypernode data. The second category is the main category, uh, which all the other categories fit nicely together to this main part because Rep Bismuth will enable you to step into new ecosystems, mainly into the Ethereum network ecosystem and also the BSC smart chain ecosystem. Then the third category is about decentralized exchanges, which of course you can use where you can use Rep Bismuth on those exchanges on Uniswap and also on PancakeSwap. The fourth category is about the Tornado Bismuth Wallet. The Tornado Bismuth Wallet enables you to wrap Bismuth and unwrap Bismuth. You can also call it minting and burning. For that, you have two crystals, the ETH bridge crystal and also the BSC bridge crystal. And if you don't know what crystals are, those are plugins. The lastly, the last category is about the website, which launched. It's the bismuth.finance website. There you can learn about the difference between bismuth and wrap bismuth. You will find all the important charts and data about the proof of work main chain on the Hypernodes website. On this slide, you see the link hypernodes.bismuth.life. When you go there, you will find all the information. On the top right, you see the 24 hour average hash rate, which is around 645 giga hash per second at this time. You see there was a little bump. The whole cryptocurrency market uh, had a decline uh, in the last past days. So, uh, but you see that it's all up again. And the chart beneath shows the difficulty. The Bismuth difficulty retargets every block. Uh, the difficulty is at 103.068 currently and the average block time is around 51 seconds. It should be around 60 seconds. Then uh, the mining algorithm which is being used is the Bismuth Heavy 3. It's a custom mining algorithm uh, targeted for GPU mining. So if you want to mine Bismuth, uh, you are welcome to join our Discord uh, server and um, there are is all information you will need to join a pool and then you can mine bismuth. In case you prefer staking, then you might be interested in the proof of stake side chain, which is the hypernode chain. Again, you can check all important information about the hypernode at this shown link, hypernodes.bismuth.life. On the right, you see a graph indicating all active and inactive hypernodes. There should be around 312 and there are about 249 hyper active hypernodes. There's also a active hypernode collateral of a total of 6.9 million bismuth. And the current return on investment per year is around 18.2%. This is always changing depending on how many active hypernodes are running. Then you see a table on, and on this table, uh, you see the estimated rewards you would get running in Hypernode. And you see there are three different levels. Um, the lowest level is the 10K Hypernode. This means you would need to have 10K uh, Bismuth in order to run the Hypernode. And the second level is 20K and the third level is 30K. And then you see under best conditions how much you could make per week, per month or per year. 
Okay, so if you would like to run a hypernode, you could get all the info and the minimal required server set up at our Discord channel. So I would like to invite you to join our Discord server. With the release of Red Bismuth for the Ethereum network and for the Binance BSC smart chain, you are able to dive into the ecosystem of those networks. You should always keep in mind that minting and burning works for each of those networks separately. For example, it is not possible to send WBIS from the ETH chain directly to the BSC chain. First, you would need to use our bridge and oracle to burn WBIS, receive native BIS and then mint again for the other external network you want to use WBIS for. Since ETH and BSC use the same crypto address scheme, you could potentially use the same address for storing WBIS on both networks. But uh, such a setup could get really confusing fast. As a rule of thumb, always check which network you are operating on. Now, if we take a look at the slide, you see that the circulating supply is around 22.8 million bismuth, including wrap business for both networks. So um, you can use the bidirectional bridge and Oracle on the tornado business wallet. You just activate them and yeah, then you can use those crystals, which are plugins for the tornado business wallet. On the left side, you see the Ethereum supply. It's around 366K wrap business and on the Right side, you see 100, 154k red bismuth on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, there's a difference because uh, the liquidity pool on the Ethereum side is larger. That's the reason why there is more red bismuth on the ETH chain than on the BSC Smart Chain. After minting bismuth, you are holding WBIS, which you could use for trading WBIS versus ETH on the Ethereum network. This biggest decentralized exchange is called Uniswap. It has the most trading volume of all decentralized exchanges. And on this uh, slide, you see the Uniswap WBIS link, which, is, um, which also shows the trading pair after you head over to the Uniswap website. Since there's already a Uniswap version 3 available, be aware that the WBIS trading pair is coded for the version 2. You can see that in the link v2.info.uniswap.org. When trading on the Ethereum network, uh, always consider that the Ethereum network gas fees can fluctuate very much. This means uh, check the gas fees before you start trading. At this time, I'd consider mm, yeah, everything between 40 and 50 guai per byte as cheap. And uh, yeah, it depends on you what's expensive, but um, I would consider something expensive if I have to pay more than $50 for a trade. So, but it depends on you. Just check the gas fees before you start trading. PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange for the BSC smart chain. You can trade on this exchange WBIS versus BSC. The fees, the trading fees are generally cheap on this exchange. By the way, anyone could add liquidity to the liquidity pool. Adding liquidity means that you add both trading pairs to the pool on PancakeSwap. For example, WBIS and BSC and of course on Uniswap for example, WBIS and ETH. Removing liquidity is the same process. It's just as easy as adding liquidity. For minting and burning WBIS, you will need to download the latest Tornado Bismuth wallet shown here on this screen, which is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. It's a browser based app. Uh, you can find the app on our GitHub repo. The Tornado Bismuth wallet has a kind of a plugin system integrated where you can activate and deactivate crystals. Recently, the ETH bridge and the BSC bridge crystal have been added. First, you will need to activate those crystals in order to mint or burn WBIS. Minting is a two part process and burning is a one part process. And with all block confirmations included, it should not take longer than around 10 minutes. 
for minting or burning. And as always, consider the correct transaction fees on the, tra on the Ethereum blockchain. If you would like to see how the process of minting and burning works, check out my other released videos. A new, very clean and simple modern looking website has been launched. You will find this website at the URL bismuth.finance. Check out the website, click on the link, wrapped bismuth. There you will find the button links to the Uniswap WBIS versus ETH trading pair and to the PancakeSwap WBIS versus BSC trading pair. There is also a link to the Tornado Bismuth wallet, which you will need to mint or release WBIS. And of course, visit the website to learn more about the difference between BIS and WBIS. You can find all Bismuth related resources on the main Bismuth website. Please do visit the website and learn more about Bismuth. You will find there all technical links, for example, the published academic papers, the Bismuth white paper, supporting different languages like Chinese, Japanese and Korean. And of course, you find on the website all Bismuth blog posts, including all the progress reports. So uh, please check them out. For chart analysis, I'd recommend CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. <laughs> there are, of course, really, really many different other sites you can check out uh, for charts. Um, in case you would like to check Bismuth transactions or addresses, just use one of the Bismuth explorers. I would like to wrap up this video and say thank you to you, the audience, for watching this progress report screencast. Please do get involved, comment, share and like because everyone does make a difference. As a side note, on the top right corner, we see that CryptoCrunch app mentioned Bismuth as one of the top trending cryptocurrencies. This is great and we do appreciate getting more exposure, of course. You see that our YouTube channel, on the other hand, has only a few subscribers. The reason for that is because we just launched the official Bismuth platform channel and we would like to get more subscribers. So if you like this video, uh, subscribe and comment if you have any suggestions for new content we could create. Please tell us. So we have come to an end of this video. Uh, oh wait, there's one more thing I would like to show you. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you know that the Trust Wallet, which is indeed a multi-wallet available on the Android and iOS platform, supports Wrapped Bismuth? Of course, on the Ethereum network and on the BC chain. On this mobile wallet screenshot in front of us, you see, or it does showcase, the first Wrapped Bismuth on the BEP20 network. And the second one represents the ERC20, the Ethereum network. Now, let me finish this presentation. Have a great time.